been a little slow here today, but that's the second one on the trout trip for him anyway. I'm running a uh, Max wedding ring behind a sling blade dodger. I got a hit on that, but I haven't pulled a fish in on it yet. Let's see what we do here. Mike's hooked up. He just switched to a. I'm using a uh, yellow and red Max wedding ring and a Shasta swing blade with a gulp worm behind it. Just get ready to change, Pete. Oh, that's not a bad fish at all. Yeah, he's a nice fish. That's a thick one too. Look how thick he is. That's beauty. It's a drift creek across the lake. We're in about 16 feet of water there. Pulling that other fish in, Mike got it in that, and I was started to mess with it, and uh, Mike got taken down. There is the bank a little shallower than So that is a nice size. You know, he's not huge by any means, but healthy and thick. Looks like a Possibly a bird has had a go at him, and we'll get him back in the water and let him go. They tend, tell you. tend to be nice and uh, active in this temperature of water, so they're not hard to release. So we're in about 12 feet of water, south end of the lake here. It's been trolling in a little bit shallower than we were earlier, and it seems like it's turning on a little bit. This place. color beautiful spots thick that's a 15 probably we came around this troll the last time and ended up picking up a tarp out of the lake and wrapping around the trolling motor so that's where it drift off Beautiful. So go 17. Pete's putting on a fishing clinic here, kicking my butt. Been a little hard to come by today, but the fish we're getting are beautiful. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not going to complain. No, they ain't a bad fish at all. Excellent fishery. Nice and thick. 